This week on DevKit Weekly, we're going to be reviewing and raffling the PSOC 62S2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Kit from Cypress Semiconductor, owned by Infineon Technologies. At the risk of sounding like a broken record here, connectivity is crucial across just about every prominent industry from industrial to automotive, but especially in IoT. Not only that, but your connectivity solutions also have to be accommodating to the small form factors and low power requirements frequently characteristic of connected IoT devices. Luckily, Infineon has a solution that addresses these requirements while still keeping performance levels high. The PSOC 62S2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Kit from Infineon, I'm sure you can guess, is designed for connectivity. The onboard PSOC 62 MCU is based on a 32-bit dual CPU system that consists of a 150 MHz ARM6 Cortex M4F CPU with single cycle multiply, floating point, and memory protection unit, alongside a 100 MHz Cortex M0 Plus CPU with single cycle multiply and MPU. With over 2,000 kilobytes of integrated flash memory and over 1,000 kilobytes of SRAM, the PSOC 62's low 1.7 to 3.6 volt power requirement makes it ideal for deployment in small connected IoT devices. In keeping with the theme of programmability that we've had for the last few episodes, the kit's PSOC 62 also features programmable analog and digital blocks. Perhaps the star of the show, though, is the Murata 1LV 2.4 and 5.0 GHz WLAN and Bluetooth functionality module based on the Cypress CYW43012 chipset. The dual band Murata module supports Wi Fi 802.11 ABGN and Bluetooth 5.0 BR, EDR, and LE, and makes use of a dual mode AP and STA network topology. All of this connectivity is bundled into a 10 by 7.2 by 1.4 millimeter package, further adding to the small but mighty theme of the Pioneer Kit. The Pioneer Kit also includes Infineon's 4 megabit Exelon Ultra Quad SPI non volatile ferroelectric memory, which enables fast, local, and energy efficient data logging at speeds comparable to battery backed solutions. That's a pretty nifty characteristic to have when you're already working a device that has limited space and power availability. Since this kit is intended for implementation in IoT applications, and we can't really talk about IoT without addressing sensing capabilities, it's worth mentioning that this PSOC 62S2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Kit also includes Infineon's fourth generation CapSense capacitive sensing interface technology on two buttons and a five segment slider. Now, let's get into the software goodies. The PSOC 62S2 Pioneer Kit is supported in a couple of different development environments. First, the Modest Toolbox software suite, which includes the Modest Toolbox IDE, where you can program and debug your device, as well as configure and enable middleware libraries and device resources. There's a repository of Modest Toolbox version 1.0 compatible code examples you can try out on your PSOC 62S2 Pioneer Kit available on GitHub and we'll put that link in the description below for you to check out. Additionally, the Pioneer Kit is also supported by Embed OS. There are also plenty of compatible code examples hosted on GitHub available to view online, link also below. So that was a pretty general overview of the PSOC 62S2 Wi-Fi Bluetooth Pioneer Kit, but if you would like to learn more, you can visit the product page on Infineon's website. If you're ready to get to connecting your IoT devices, you can order your own Pioneer Kit from DigiKey for $123.75. Of course, if you'd rather save your money, you can also enter this week's raffle linked on screen now and in the description below for a chance to win this very kit here completely free. That's it for this episode. So as always, thank you for watching. Good luck in the raffle and we'll see you next time. For more content from embedded computing design, including behind the scenes footage, raffles, giveaways, and just cool stuff that we're doing in general, visit us on social at the links provided in the bio below.